I think as women, the idea that marriage is not the goal, it goes against everything, <laughs> like all of the things yeah. that society, yeah. I mean, not even just yeah. church, I mean, Disney yeah. is all about finding this happily ever after. Yeah. And I do think that there is a worthy deconstruction of our philosophies and even maybe some people's theology mm -hmm. that would allow us to mm -hmm. focus on being all one within mm -hmm. ourselves mm -hmm. as opposed to finding the one. Because mm -hmm. when you tell a woman without someone in your life, you are incomplete, then women can walk around mm -hmm. feeling like I'm half of a woman. I'm not there yet. And I believe the most liberating thing that ever happened to me is when I was in my previous marriage and I had this thought that crossed my mind and it was like, I can do better than this. Mm -hmm. I can become all one outside of this context mm -hmm. of marriage, mm -hmm. even though mm -hmm. it looks like one to everyone else, I'm broken inside. Mm -hmm. And so having to really come to that a realization that all one didn't necessarily mean being with someone yeah. changed my life. You know what's hitting me right now, and I'd never seen this before, but revelation is flowing, all one. There's a, in, in Jewish thought and in biblical thought, there's this phrase and it's based on a verse and it's called the Shema and it's in Deuteronomy. And it literally, it's a founding fundamental principle in Judeo-Christian reality. And it is the Lord God is one, the Lord God is one. Mm. And so if we're created in God's image, wow. then it is our, our foundational identity mm. to be like our creator who is all one. Yeah. I'd never seen that before. Mm. I think mm -hmm. we're, we're onto something. We're oh my sure. goodness, yeah. I'm sorry. You making my head That's spin. <laughs> when, he said, when you said that pastor, immediately, I thought of 1 Corinthians 6, 17. Mm. Whoever is joined to the Lord ah. is one spirit. Now that's it. Yeah. And one where spirit. the spirit of the Lord is, come, there's liberty. Come on. Liberty from chasing, <laughs> trying to find somebody to be whole. Come on. You, come you on, preach man. You, preach you the pastor. You the pastor. It, it, just, it just invigorated my spirit because whenever, because I went, I have been through some bad relationships and I was broken. I felt lost. I feel like, okay, is this, is this all it is to me? Like, is it more to this? Is it just sex? Like, come yeah. on, what's, what's yeah. more to this? Yeah. And when I was broken in my room, I said, I need to discover who I am. Yeah. And when I discovered who he was, then I knew who I was. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it just, it's just what you're saying about being one with him. Is, yes. That's where your identity is. That's where you can find wholeness. Yeah. And that's when you can really be, you no know, maximize mm. what you've been designed and created to do mm. here. You know what I mean? So. Mm. That's so on brand this month at Woman Evolve, we're talking about hope to bloom. Mm -hmm. And the center focus really is how do we position ourselves to really bloom in self-confidence in different areas of our lives. And I feel like this revelation is exactly the way that we can ensure constant blooming, mm. that we can make sure from season to season to season that we are discovering who we are in God, what that means to the world we're showing up in, and how do we show up as one? How do we pull mm. back when we're showing up in pieces? Like, I'm not in a place to show up as one, so I got to create boundaries right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not in a position to show up as one, so I got to readjust my assignments mm -hmm. and responsibilities because my ultimate goal is to make sure that I I can show up as one yeah, no matter where I am, married wow. or not, <laughs> kids yeah. or not. You know what I mean? Like, I got to be able to show up as one, come back to one, because one is where the confidence is, it's where the mm -hmm. hope is, it's where the glory is. Mm -hmm. And if it's going to flow, it's going to flow through one. The number one goal in life is to be whole. Yeah. Now, that's going to mess with some Christians' theology, because they're be like, no, the number one uh, uh, goal in life, hear me clearly. In life is to be whole, but then it says to be saved. No, 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 no. Because if that was the number one goal, the moment you you got saved, you would be zapped. Wow. But you're still here. So why are you here? Well, then once they do the Lord's work, but you can't do the work. The more whole you are, yeah. which makes you look more like your father, the better you can reflect God wow. and do the Lord's work. What if the number one objective, what if we created a culture in the church and in the world where the number one objective, the number one passion and desire above fame, fortune, and whatever is ultimately to be whole. Because I have learned when I'm whole, I'm healthy, yeah. I'm wealthy, yeah. uh, I do relationships well, 
I mean, I mean, that's the principle of balance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is so good. Like we have not been flowing like this. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't stumbled onto something because yeah. I'm literally thinking like I'm thinking about the moments in my life where I'm not showing up as mm. one mm. and to be able to capture a thought because it is an assignment against my oneness. There you go. There you go. Get Come out on. of here. There you go. Come on. To categorize that properly, like mm -hmm. this thought is yes. an attack against my oneness. Yeah. So to show up anyway is an act of resistance mm -hmm. because I must, I got to stay tight. Mm -hmm. I got to stay one. And I already yeah. know what this thought is. I already know what that conversation is going to be. I already yeah. know what this friendship is going to be. It is an attack against my oneness. And right now I got to stay. Can't, <laughs> can't you see? Okay, we got to stay. Okay. <laughs> but I hear, I see one all throughout the Bible. Yeah. yeah. Father. Son and Holy Spirit, yeah. and these three are one. one. Yeah. The Word, the Blood, the Spirit, and these things are one. The, all it's one is all throughout, and the two shall become one. Yeah. <laughs> one is all throughout the Scripture. Yeah. Even one Lord, one yeah. faith, yeah. one baptism, one God, one Father of all, who's above all, one. and through all, in one. This is crazy.